so students in this video i'm going to discuss with you all is the topics which is according to the reduced syllabus of 2022 and in the previous videos and all i have already discussed about the different uh, aspects of indian agriculture and here i'm going to discuss is the different types of crops their geographical conditions uh, india's position in the world production as well as the major uh, producing states of india okay so the following crops will be discussed in this video so in the food crops we will discuss about uh, rice wheat uh, jawar maize bajra okay uh, then uh, we have ragi pulses and in the plantation crops also we will be discussing like coffee tea cotton jute as well as their comparison with the other countries also we will be studying in, uh, in this video okay so without much delay let's start our video let us start with the discussion of food crops first is rice now we all know the fact that rice is a very important food crop of our country and it is feeding million of people million of indians around 23% of total crop area uh, of india is under the rice cultivation india is the second largest producer of rice in the world after china and uh, uh in this table students you can see the datas are provided according to the area production and yield of rice in india over the years so i request you people to go through the table once pause the video and go through it now let us discuss the geographical condition of rice now rice is a tropical plant which requires very high heat or high temperature and high humidity or high rainfall so around average temperature of 24 degrees celsius and average annual rainfall of 150 cm should be there even it can be grown in the area where the rainfall is 100 cm or less than 100 cm but that area should be well irrigated so deep fertile clay and loamy soil are considered for the ideal cultivation of rice so the successful growth of rice requires again a plenty of labor rice can be grown even in the himalayan valleys and in the terrace slope up to the height of 2400 meters and if the sufficient amount of water is available okay at the right time again in this table students state wise the production of rice area as well as yield of rice has been given the data has been provided again i request you people to pause the video and go through the table once so according to the latest syllabus or the reduced syllabus we have to study the comparison of rice cultivation uh, with japan because rice is also one of the main food crop or the staple food crop of japanese around 55% of the cultivated area of the country is under the rice production especially it dominates the low land and easily irrigated area of japan now japanese method of rice cultivation is uh, yields highest uh, rice of in the world okay it is also called the japanese method or the transplantation method so first this uh, like uh, seedlings are produced or are cultivated in the nursery beds and after that it is transplanted in the uh, flooded fields during the spring okay so mechanization mechanization of rice cultivation has also been taken place in japan even terrace farming is very common in japan now some of the uh, cultivated area of japan are rice cultivating area of japan are honsu island is the largest producer of rice in japan the kwanto plain around tokyo is also well known for its rice cultivation then uh, shikoku and kosu islands are also famous for the rice cultivation the second most important food crop of our country is wheat and it is a staple food crop of people especially in the northwestern part of our country and india produces about 12% of the world's wheat and it's the second largest producer of wheat in the world after china now let us see the conditions or the geographical conditions of uh, its growth so it's a rabi crop means it is grown in the winter season and it is sown after the withdrawal of the monsoon and uh, at the last week of october and early november and quick ripening and high yielding varieties of seeds are sown in the late december and early january that means the hybrid varieties of seed so it requires uh, less temperature around 10 degrees celsius of temperature at the time of sowing and 15 to 20 degrees celsius of temperature at the time of ripening so that means is the early summer so uh, around 50 to 70 cm of annual rainfall should be there 
So it can also be grown in the areas where the rainfall is 20 cm but with a sufficient availability of irrigation. Loamy soil is ideal for the cultivation of wheat. So students in this table, major wheat producing states of India has been given according to its rank. So Uttar Pradesh is the largest producer of wheat in our country. But if you see in terms of yield per hectare, okay, then Punjab ranks first. 4,596 is the Punjab's production, whereas Uttar Pradesh is 2,786. But in terms of total production, Uttar Pradesh ranks first in the country comparison with china now china is the largest producer of wheat in the world and it is mainly grown in the northern and northwestern part of the country because here the temperature is much favorable as well as rainfall is between 50 to 100 centimeter so the main area of wheat cultivation is the great plain including the weho valley and other areas are the santung peninsula the losses plateau the manchurian plain and parts of some the some of the red basin area next important food crop is the maize so which is included in the chorus grains and it is also a very important uh, crop because primarily it is used as a fooder for the meat animals but it is also used by, as a food by the poor people also now conditions or the geographical conditions requires 21 degrees celsius to 27 degrees celsius of temperature 75 centimeter of rainfall and irrigation is also required if the rainfall is less in terms of production and distribution, India is a very insignificant producer of maize in the world. India ranks 7th in terms of uh, maize production in the world. Some of the largest producers of maize in the world are USA, China, Brazil, Mexico, France and Argentina. So students, in this table, again state-wise, okay, the production or the area production and yield of maize has been given so i request you people to go through it now if you compare the hectares then it might differ uh, for example if you compare karnataka and tamil nadu so tamil nadu produces around 6549 kgs per hectare but whereas karnataka produces only 2773 kgs per hectare okay so if we compare the hectares per state it might differ but the total production okay karnataka ranks first in the country another important food crop of our country is jowar and it is the third important food crop of our country uh, after rice and wheat and it provides a substantial or the staple food crop of the people in the deccan plateau as well as in the western part of the country okay it also serves as a fooder in the several parts of the country Geographical condition for Jowar. It is served both as a kharif and rabi crop. Requires temperature of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius with annual rainfall of 55 centimeter. It's a very good example of dry farming. Okay, because it requires a very less amount of rainfall. The varieties of soil can be used here like red, yellow, loamy and alluvial. But black clay loam soil of peninsular India is good for its cultivation. Now in terms of production, India ranks first in the terms of Jowar production in the world. Again here st students in those tables, the area production and yield of Jowar is given with the area wise as well as in the table here uh, according to the production, according to the states it has been given, go through it. Another important cereal crop of our country is ragi and which is mostly grown in the drier parts of South India as well as in the uh, western part of our country also. So it requires around 20 to 30 degrees Celsius of temperature and with the uh, rainfall varying between 50 to 100 centimeter of rainfall. So it can also be grown in the varieties of soil like uh, red soil, light black soil or sandy loam soil. It is also uh, sown as a kharif crop between uh, May and August and harvested between September and January. So, India is the largest producer of ragi in the world and uh, the important producers of ragi are uh, Uttarakhand, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. The next important food crop are the pulses and India is the largest producer of pulses in the world and it is also a major source of protein in the vegetarian diet. Now, the production of pulses is not given much importance like the uh, cereal production, 
okay however nowadays the production of pulses are also increasing because of the uh, practice of crop rotation okay now 90 percent of the pulses grown area pulses cultivated area in india is rain fed means dependent upon the rainy season and the largest producers of pulses are Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Odisha, Jharkhand, Gujarat and Chhattisgarh. Varieties of pulses are grown as the Kharif and Ravi uh, crops like Ahar, Moong, Urad, Moat okay, are the Kharif while Gram, Peas, Masur uh, and Urad again are the Ravi crops. So here students uh, table has been provided according to the area production and yield of pulses in India over the years as well as state wise also the table has been provided which is giving gives us the datas with regard to the area production and yield of uh, pulses in our country according to the latest report of 2015 and 16. so students with this we come to the end of the video where we have discussed the different types of food crops in india